I'm back in the islands, which means that I'm back in the Philippines after spending a vacation in the United States for almost three months. And for today, I'm going to present to you an item that I ordered from Ironheart America. And this item came all the way from London, Great Britain, and it was delivered in my house in Los Angeles, California after three days. So this is the only time that I could uh, show you the item and unbox it in front of you and then we'll have a product review of this item that I ordered from the Iron Heart. And here it is. Okay, we're going to open it. And this is the Iron Heart. Oops. As usual, I have the sticker that goes with the package. Okay, some 10% uh, discount from Sonder. And. a care instruction for the said item so we have here the IHJ124 in brown this is the iron heart 10 ounce herringbone fabric jacket this is 10 ounce very thin but very sturdy durable and the color is very nice it is brown and this is a herringbone fabric so actually the price of this item is 395 dollars but i was able to use my promo code as a, a good customer of iron heart and I was able to have a discount of $50, $50 of this item and the total amount that I, I spent on this jacket is $345. And in three days, it arrived in my house in Los Angeles, California. So, as usual, we have on the left side, top of the... Uh, packet is the iron heart tab you have two front packets with snap button it's snap button and they're very nice and you have a stitch on top of this on top of the two buttons and you have flaps and this and this is considered as a work jacket where you have side pockets one on the right and one on the left side this is size medium and I found out that uh, my size in iron heart jacket is medium. There are only three things in the measurement chart that are very important in my sizing. First is the shoulder size. My shoulder is 17 to 18 inches. So this jacket is meant to be worn with a something inside this is could be a hoodie it could be a a flannel shirt or a western shirt that's the reason why i choose this size medium 
with a longer shoulder length, which is 18 inches, which is still okay with me. The second most important measurement in the chart of dimension in the website is their measurement on the from the right armpit to the left armpit which they call pit to pit measurement usually my pit measurement is 20 inches but I, but I think in this size of medium the pit measure pit to pit measurement is 21 inches and it is very nice jacket for me to have a something under this jacket whether it is a hoodie or a sweater and the third the most important thing is the opening the size of this opening is 20 inches this is just okay for me to be able to close this jacket on the lower end or lower portion of the jacket this jacket has two uh, two way or two ykk shipper actually it has only one but it has two two closures one down here and the other one is at the upper so and there is a leather tag on the end of the zipper and this is very nice it's very useful because you can easily ship and unship the jacket using these two or this leather tag here and uh, i'm not particular or or interested on the length of the sleeves because the sleeve has a way to crumple at the middle and it will lessen the size of the sleeve so i have i don't have any problems with the length of the sleeve however at the hem of the sleeve you have adjustable snaps you can have this lap the the close your tighter to your to your wrist or you can have it looser on your wrist so there are two closures two closure stops on the lower hem of the sleeve and at the back you have adjustable adjustable strap at the back you can tighten the opening by using the other strap and adjusting it at the other end and you have a tighter hem of the said jacket so we're going to open this and try to see what is inside you have uh, orange stitching on the back on the back everything is a uh, very nice touch double stitching and nice you have the yoke at the back which you can see inside straight yoke and inside the color is orange and it is very nice what i like about this fabric is that this is not so too thick and not too thin 10 ounces is very nice for uh, my use here in the island or in the Philippines because it is nice for colder nights even during summer and during rainy season 
I can use this. With the humidity here in the Philippines, I think 10 ounces is the best thickness for a jacket here in the Philippines. So that is one of my observations that I was able to make and make some conclusions while I was in the United States. 12 ounces in the United States is very nice to wear, most especially in the in places like California or in the lower part of the United States because for a temperature of 60 degrees and above, you can use 12 ounces up to 18 ounces of fabric of salvage denim in those places. But here in the Philippines, if you use 12 ounces, it's very, very hard because it is very heavy and the fabric is thick and you can easily sweat, except if you're riding in an air-conditioned vehicle in full full volume or full adjustments, that's okay. But of course, I will not do that to my vehicle, okay? So this is a very nice jacket. I had their uh, blue whipcord I was thinking of uh, getting the black one, but I've, I have already black denim jackets from Levi's. I have also black uh, other other uh, denim jackets from Brave Star and from Beck, Ben Sack and from Mubutaro. So I opted to get a brown to be special and different. And this style is not type 3. This is a work jacket in itself. And we're going to try this as we go farther from the camera. We're going to try this and we'll see the fit. So it has a, a color. It is nice to wear here in the Philippines. The, the length is a little bit, the length is a little bit longer as usual, but it's okay. So this is what I'm telling you about the This is how the jacket looks like when it is fitted to, to me and it looks good. It's a little bit longer but I like the size. It looks like it is loose but I can easily adjust the opening to make it tighter and that's the reason why there is an adjustment snap button at the back to make it tighter and it looks like this. The sleeve is nice, it is a little bit loose but it's okay with me because I'll be using this with a, a sweater or a shirt under this jacket. Whether it is a western shirt or a white shirt like this, what? Like this, what? Uh, what I'm wearing right now. So, or you can open it like it, that and it is very nice very comfortable and it is nice for a colder summer nights here in the philippines or in visiting higher altitude here in the philippines or when you're traveling 
inside the bus or traveling inside your vehicle with your air condition on. This is a very nice light jacket for 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 me and for everybody. So this is my product review of this 10 ounces herringbone iron hard jacket 124 in brown and it's really nice and I will keep this in my collection and I'll be able to use it in my trips whether in going to Manila going uh, in other countries this is a very nice light jacket for me and I think this will take so many years for me to use because it is durable, very comfortable, and very dependable. So thank you for watching this video and have a good day. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe. And if you have comments about the item, please state your comments or write down below in the comment section. And if you haven't clicked that notification bell, please do so so that you can be informed of my latest videos on this YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and have a good day. Bye.